Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to groom a miniature schnauzer. This is where I do it in some tips and tricks, so stay tuned. So here we are shaving the pads. I like to use a 15 blade, so just get right into the pores and you do that on all four feet. I might be wacky, but I want to play. I'm your best friend, you can get away. Here I would like to talk about the pressure points in the front leg. Well, I just call them pressure points, it's just a bit that you hold so the dog's leg is completely straight. And if you let go of that, the dog's leg can flop in any direction. So if you hold that bit, it's much more easy to have control of the dog. Now this is what the final product should look like. Nice and shaven in there. Could kill Bella. I deserve a treat because I'm a fluffy bay. I got hair shaking the air, doggy by the day. So, what we'll use now is a seven blade. And so, this is a buttercup size seven, so we'll turn on the clippers. And we will start by going down the back. Now, I'm just going to do it in small strokes at first. It's good to get a good feel for the clippers and before you start cutting any styles because you don't want to muck up or anything. So once you've got a feel for that, you can go all the way down, just doing it nice and slow, pushing against, but making sure you keep the blade flat. So, and then we'll go down the side. Now, with this now as a skirt, what you're wanting it to be is an extension of the body. That's how you create the skirt. So instead of coming around the entire body like you would if you were shaving the entire dog off, you want to just glide off that middle muscle there, just by the rib cages. You just want to glide off that muscle there. So now we will start with the back leg. So again, you just follow it by the muscles. So the back leg, I'm not sure for the life of me what that muscle is called, but it's got a, the big leg muscle. What you'll do is you'll just glide off that onto the front. So you're just gliding down, going nice and slow. But then with the back of the leg, until you get to the back hock, you'll shave it completely clean. So what I'm doing here is just extending the um, leg part, just trimming it down so it's nice and flat. So it looks natural. You want it to look as natural as you can. So here you can see it's the dog's actually missing some fur. So last time when it got groomed, it was quite um, matted. So the groomer has actually chopped the knots out. So we'll have to make sure we can get as best we can with the skirt. Um, with the leg, again, you're gliding off that shoulder muscle and just going down nice and slow. So instead of scooping in, I'm just gliding off that muscle, just going straight down. So I'm just gliding down the muscle. You can see I'm not actually pushing against it. Just going directly off that muscle and just going down, getting all that excess fur off. So not scooping in with the door. So now we are doing the back of the dog. So the back of the leg here. So on the front, remember we have left it long. So it's kind of like a an extension of the leg so here we just want to get rid of all of that back here there and we just want to make it nice and sleek and smooth and you're just going to leave here on the hock also make sure that you're shaving the bum and then you've got to shave the groin this is also an easy way to get the very inside of the legs just to make it that more sleek Lifting up the dog is an easy way to get to the private area to get the best hygiene clip. As you can see, this is where we have shaved on the groin. This is another pressure point in the back leg. So if you squeeze that muscle there, then it's hard for them to move it. So now we are just matching 
this side up to the previous side that we have already done, just shaving in that back leg, skimming off the thigh, and shaving the side and skimming off the body, making the skirt. So now we are starting on the chest, so you want to just start under the chin and just skim down the chest coming off that breastbone. You want to just skim off it slightly, you don't want to go into the hair on the chest as there are reverse points where the hair grows the opposite way. And if you do shave those off then it can look like you have shaved the dog off. doing here is just shaving the back of the head so it's easier if you just do the head at the end so we'll just do the body to start off with so you just shave from in between the ears down the neck and just make sure you get all of the sides and go around make sure you go over the body again just tidying it up and making it look more fresh Now this is where the fun starts. We are going to start scissoring. So just make sure you brush over the dog, brush out all of the, the hair as fur that you shave off can get stuck in the hair. So we'll do that and then we can get on to scissoring. So comb out this bit here and we'll start with around the foot. So the best way is to just trim around the foot and make it into a circular shape. I got hair shaking the air, target by the day. Because I'm happy. Rock alone if you feel like your master loves you. Now we'll start with the back of the leg. So as you've seen, I just brushed out that back part. So now we just want to make it a straight line. So you want to try and keep your scissors as steady as possible as you're doing this. And you just go straight up. And then we'll brush out the side here. Fluff it out and you can see all that excess bit hanging out there. So we want to trim that down. That's not ideal. That's not what we want. So just trim down. Keep your fingers steady. And just trim down. Kind of like you're trimming it. Now just repeat this the whole way around until you've got a nice cylinder shape. Shake out the leg, it also gets excess hair out, and then just continue with your shape. Now remember that practice makes perfect. So once you have trimmed around the dog as best you can, just let him or her run around on the ground and they'll usually shake out a lot of hair and then you can start all over again. Come stay down, my bark is too high. Come stay down, canine. Come stay down, I shake. Cause I'm happy. Bark alone if you feel like your master loves you. Because I'm breaking. Bark alone if you feel like your tail is chasing you. Because I'm happy. How long if you want to cuddle from me to you. Because I'm a dog around if you think you're my now best Now we will friend. start brushing out the skirt. And then we'll give it a trim. So you want to just trim it in a nice straight line. You just want to trim it in a nice straight line. And the skirt should just look like an extension of the body. Complain now, canine. So we'll also just trim down the side bits here, going in a downwards direction and just getting all the bits that stick out. Now we're going to start on the back leg, remembering that there was knots in the front of the thigh, that's why there's not much here. So, if we just put the foot down, now the Sousel's leg goes in a few shapes, so there's the cylinder part, and then there is the two lines here. So, always work on each shape at a time, don't think of it as one whole leg. So there's the triangle here, and the cylinder foot here. 
Come stay down, K9. Come stay down. I so we'll scissor down the first part here and just making it a straight line all the way down. We'll also go around the feet just like the front, just going and making those circle shapes. Make sure you hold your scissors in this, don't pull, just hold them in one spot as you're scissoring. Then just like the front leg, you just want to make the hock downwards a cylinder shape, so just brush it out make it flat and just make it as cylindery shape as possible. Now we're just going to do our best with this one. As you can see, it's not as long as it could be. So we're just going to have to trim it as best we can to make it look as natural and long. So because the bit at the bottom obviously sticks out as much, we're just going to trim that down so it always the same. So now we're just going to go over all the little bits, making sure that the hop downwards is a cylinder shape and making sure the thigh upwards is a triangle shape. Now to start the other side. I deserve a treat because I'm a fluffy bay. I got hair shaking the air, doggy by the day. Now we are going to start the chest area. So we're just going to trim down this part here. Just make it so it's not as puffed out, more natural looking. We're just going to fix up the rest of them now by just trimming all the little bits that we can see. I might be wacky, but I want to play. I'm your best friend, you can get away. I deserve a treat, because I'm a fluffy bay. I got hair shaking the air, doggy by the day. Now we've got to make sure that we brush the tail out, getting all those tangles out, 
and we also want to trim the top off so it's not just sticking out we want it to also look like an extension of the body which it is but we want it to look more natural so now we will start with the face again with your seven blade we're going to shave the top of the head going towards the neck making sure we bend the neck forward to get that little neck crease they get because if they put their head back it turns into a little roll and then we want to get either side between the ear and the eyebrow you want to just shave downwards going around the head in a circular motion now you've got to be careful about the little flaps on the top of the ears very easy to cut if you're not watching and not paying enough attention but if you do it safely and correctly and pay attention then you'll be fine We're now shaving down the ears, so just on top with a seven, making sure that we hold onto the back of the ear, so we're just pushing against the ear and our hand. So we're not going to be cutting into them at all, as our hand is protecting the back of them. Now, my back is too high, come stay down, canine, come stay down, I shake, cause I'm happy. Back alone. Down the side just getting all those little bits that you may have missed earlier now we are putting on a 15 the same blade that we used to do the inside of the paws so we're just going to do the inside of the ear so we'll snap it on there and it's important with the ears that you make sure you've got them flat on your hand just to be able to get all those little bits there also it's the same as if you're holding it the other way you're just pushing against your hand make sure you get the inside of the ear by just shaving downwards in a downwards direction Now it is important to show your pet some love. I mean, he's been a very, very good boy this time, so you've just got to make sure that he knows it. I might be wacky, but I wanna play. So now we are trimming the outside of the ear. So it's very important that you hold the ear steady and you just trim along. So since I've done this a lot, I know where to trim. But if you're not sure, you can use your nails. So if you pinch your nails together like so, and you just hold the scissors up to your nails and trim, then you're not going to be cutting the dog's ear at all. You're just going to be meeting your nails. I'm your best friend, you can get away. I deserve a treat because I'm a fluffy bay. I got hair shaking the air, doggy by the day. It's also important that you trim inside the ear, just making sure you get all those little bits out. Now we're going to trim the top of the head, get rid of any little mohawks that have appeared from all the um, clipping. Sometimes it's not even, so you just trim those bits. And now I'm going to trim these side bits here, get all the little bits here, again like the top of the head. Now, onto the top of the eyebrows. So now we are blending in the eyebrows and the beard with the face. So when you clip down with the clippers, you make it quite blunt. So now we just want to blend everything in. What we're doing now also is trimming the inside of the eyes. So this is to clear out any of the long hairs in there. That's where the eye boogers can build up, so if you trim them out, then you'll be able to see your dog's pretty little eyes. We're also trimming in between the eyebrows, just getting those little bits in there, just to keep them separated eyebrows. We don't want our snails to have a monobra.
Now we're on to the eyebrows. So we're going to brush them forward. Now you've got to be careful when shaping the eyebrows because they have nerves in their eyelids that can twitch. So you've got to make sure the dog is nice and relaxed and not twitching as you make your trim. So you want to do a nice straight line. Get any of those excess bits. And also just make a little shelf underneath the eyebrows. So you just want to get those little hairs in there just so you can see the eyeballs better. I like to trim the top of the nose just to get all the little hairs off there. It makes the beard seem more longer and glamorous. We're just going to trim the beard so if you just brush everything forward and you just want to make a straight line under the beard. Also you want to shape up the sides and just make it more natural looking. Now we're just going over all the little bits, making sure it looks nice and tidy. And that there is how you groom a schnauzer. So if you guys like that, subscribe, ask for more videos. I can do more on more breeds, but yeah, thanks for watching.